Hello, hello everybody, and I thought today I'd talk about my Guppy Inler Hybrid Tank. Just showing some of the the, net, the latest generation starting to color up, starting to get some new variants. It coming about. Let's see here. There's one. Kind of weird. Like one of the ones I started off with was a male rainbow tiger antler. Right. That's one. That, so we're having ones that look like rainbow tiger antlers but different looking. And LR Brett's, I do believe how I made Rainbow Tiger Endlers was mixing them with a, rain, a Tiger Endler and a Starburst Endler, I do believe. And I'm seeing those traits come through, the Starburst Endler traits, like in these guys, the yellow and blue stripe going down their bodies. And one, one of the newest ones are starting to color up. It's a male, but all it is, there he is. He has a red stripe going down his body. That is very interesting. There's a little color on his tail. Very interesting. Where'd he go? He swam off. <laughs> These guys are so hard to follow. And we got more like that. Those guys are super cool. Some of my favorites right there. Got the big ears. These little like an inlay. There's another one that looks like a rainbow tiger inlay, but more showy fins, maybe I'd call it. There's you got just the red stripe again. He just started coloring up, so maybe he'll end up with more. But as of now, that's new. Let's see here, yeah. And we have those guys like that. I like the starburst bodies, long fins, and big ears. Those guys are super sweet looking, I think. They're really badass looking when they're young. <clears throat> They're red, white, and blue. Some pretty sweet color variations. I'll start getting more tanks. 
gonna start lining some of these out. There's another one. Definitely gonna line those guys out. It's like they're kind of like neon tetra bodies with guppy fins. Pretty cool. This one's looking. Rainbow Tiger in there looking, but not quite got his colors yet. Wait, that is a female, I think. There he is, right there. He's looking a little different and interesting. Still getting his colors. Yeah, these, the moss that climbed up the rock, this is the pile of moss. I planted it up here. Somehow it made it through here, around the Anubias. Climbed up the rock. And now it's, it looks pretty cool how it's growing like that. Look at all the Anubias. Someone roots down. Some of my newbies are doing real good. This is also like my Frankenstein shrimp tank. NFL. That is a pink shrimp. Pretty cool looking. At this angle. I'm sitting here looking at this tank tonight. I'm like, yeah. There's some new interesting things going on here and I thought I'd share. Still new fry. I seen a couple brand new fry in here. That one's acting like it's about to drop. Right there. Just chilling up there, bent, tail bent down. The labor, I think. There's one, of the, there's a good look at one of the rainbow tiger antler looking ones. It's in so many generations down. I will call them Shelly's. Maybe tiger anglers or something. If I ever line them out. Bigger fans. More iridescent color to them. Yeah, that's a good look at one. Cross over with guppies, then cross, then bred back. Pretty decent looking, I think. Here's one just getting his colors. Where he go? There he is. He's gonna be something different. There's the one just a red stripe going down it again.
Yeah. I think I got some cool stuff going on in here. Just be a matter of years of lighting breeding these guys out. Pretty consistent. I'm just mixing the genes and seeing what's possible for now. Just an idea. I had and the possibilities are pretty cool looking. I wonder how this guy will end up coloring up. I got just the red stripe on him. Thanks for watching. Bye.